Hello everybody, Logan here with another video. Today we are discussing Spirit's first official animatronic sneak peek. This is the four and a half foot city See, I wanted to say sitting scarecrow, but it's the scary sitting scarecrow. So they added another word there. This uh, kind of just popped up yesterday and then officially released today. So, I, I've known about this item for a, a hot minute. And it, like, not like I've seen it, but like I've known the product name because it got revealed by shipment data. And I was like, oh, a new city scarecrow. You know, and I was, you know, I was really excited because I was like, this gives Spirit and Techie the opportunity to completely revamp a classic jump scare prop and do it better. And I was really hoping that they would do the hard plastic sculpted burlap heads, you know, like the newer scarecrows have, where instead of it being like actual burlap, they sculpt it to appear like burlap. You know, like the drop down scarecrow, for example, that's coming out from Party City. And I was wrong. This is almost the exact same, except they basically put two layers of burlap on the head, and on the second layer, they cut a smile and put like some twine underneath and a little bit of straw, and then like did like a little bit of twine sewing along the bridge of the nose, darkened the nose a bit, and then like gave him longer hair. I can't remember the other one, if the original had hair. I don't think it did. They gave him hair. Looks like a longer hat. They dirtied up his clothes and gave him more straw and light up eyes. And, um, it really pains me to say this, but I really dislike this one. Uh, in particular. I, I was just hoping for something new, you know? This isn't really appealing to me in the slightest. I, I don't like it. And it's not for the reasons that everyone else doesn't like it. A lot of people are really, like, hammering down the fact that it looks like the Wicked Makers one, which it is very similar, and I absolutely will not um, tiptoe around that. I don't like the fact that there was an opportunity to basically do something uh, different with this character and they they didn't take it. Like this, this is almost the exact same thing that we've gotten before, it's just they put a little smile on his face this time and it just... it. it it doesn't really hit it for me, you know? Like, I, I just, I don't care for it. You know, they could have redressed him. They, they could have done a lot more uh, with, with this character. And they really could have hammered in that scary aspect. You know, this is the scariest thing Scarecrow. So again, I was really hoping that they would have done the sculpted burlap head. And I don't really think this is a techie thing. I think this is more of a spirit thing where they wanted this a lot closer to the original because the original sells like hotcakes. So they didn't want to stray too far away. But like, it, it's just not good. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, and not to sound harsh, but I personally believe that this is the weakest out of the sitting scare props. Out of um, the scarecrow, clown, witch, and I will absolutely, and I will um, tie in Harriet as well, since she's technically a part of that series. There was again, there was some opportunities to do a lot more with this and be more adventurous with it. And it didn't happen. And I wholeheartedly believe that this was a spiritism right here. Because spirit has been known to be afraid 
uh, to push boundaries sometimes. And th this, this is one where you, you should have. You absolutely should have pushed boundaries a lot more and done something a little more brave, uh, if you will. Because I, I don't think this... I don't think this looks really good. And, like, in the instruction manuals, it looks a lot closer to what we're going to get, um, like, out of the box. And it looks bad. It, it doesn't look good. And if I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's going to be a good seller, unfortunately. This is one of those things where either you should have left the original alone, or you should have uh, gone bigger, you know? What I would have done personally, you know, looking at it, uh, I'm looking at the images here, I'm gonna kind of pull up the stock image so I can look at it more. So I would have given Techie the okay to do a sculpted face, a sculpted burlap face. Uh, I would have given him different clothing, I think a plaid shirt, something a little more traditional, uh, giving him like faux jeans, maybe change the color of the boots, see if you can add like fake mud onto them, keep them dirty because it is like an old scarecrow. I like this straw, this straw looks good, maybe, um, maybe get rid of the hat honestly, or give him like a sun, like an old sun hat, you know? instead of this like kind of like witch's hat style I I would have probably left out the light up eyes personally I I, I just don't think that uh, they, they really look great on the sitting scare props and I would have honestly changed the audio I, I don't know to what I don't think he needs to talk necessarily but I, I would have like done something a little different because it does it, it is just the exact same thing just a little different I would have added um, the heavy twin that's around his neck I would have added that around the wrists you know like it's being held together probably around the ankles as well like a tr again like a traditional scarecrow character I, and again I, I would have definitely kept the filth because it looks dirtier and I, I like where you were going with that I would have distressed the pant legs. I would have distressed the sleeve, like, cuffs. I probably would have distressed the hat a little more, too. Maybe sparse out some of that straw. It's a little too dense for such a dirty old character, in my opinion. And even, like, even if you were to keep this face, um, or kind of keep this... Wicked Makers kind of did what I think should have been done on the first one, where they made it look like a masked character. Now, I would not have kept the original mask, or the original head sculpt, which was the Resurrection Mary, and I wouldn't have made it smile. I would have strayed away from their concept as much as possible, and done something a little different, where it's like an, an oddly cut, like, hollowed mask, kind of like ghost face the um, Brandon James mask. Uh, if, if anyone here knows what I'm talking about, do that instead. They can get a bloody, like it's a, like he's a, he's a serial killer in disguise and give him like gloves. That would be terrifying too. These beady, crazy eyes picking out from, from like within the mask. You could have done that as well. You know, so again, like add on to the scary sitting scarecrow, you know, add on to that scary portion, you know, it, and again, that's just, you know, me pitching out some ideas here. You could have changed up the animation a little bit. You know, when he, um, like, or flipped up his head, you could have had him flip up his arms as well. Kind of like Rusty and Lantern Jack does. He doesn't need to hold anything, but it just adds more, you know? Stuff like that. And again, you could have done that and left and left them looking like the original. So you could have done a sitting scarecrow with more animation. That would have also worked. But again, I just I don't think this this face doesn't work for me. And I know it doesn't work for a lot of other people. You know, so uh, and I definitely don't understand why 
this would make it $179. You know, that's a, that's a little pricey in my, again, my humble opinion. And again, I'm remaining respectful and trying to be constructive in the same front. I also think that, like, if you're going to revamp the Scarecrow, you... Like, there were some issues with the original one that I noticed that could have been fixed. I don't see straps added, like the Thrashers. These sitting scare props, they need straps as well. For sure. I have a sitting scare clown, he falls over every year. Like, they, they need strapping as well. You know, I think that's something else that could have been improved. Like, there, there could have been improvements made to this as well. So, and there might be straps, I might just not include them in the stock photo of this chair, which looks oddly like the chair I have at home. Spirit, are you taking stock photos of my house? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. But, you know, there also could have been some improvements made to this, and even like the Scarecrow as well, and other versions if they were to ever go wholesale. But, yeah, that's really it for me. I, I don't like it, but, like, if you buy it, I won't rag on you about it because, like, you know, it is what it is. Um, he is on sale for $109.99, so I believe that makes him $10 in the original. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, yep, because the original is $99.99. Okay, so, yeah, so the original is $170, he's 180 so they added on $10 more. I'm assuming it's the LEDs and the dirty, dirtying up. So I guess they're actually really close in price. So I, I take I take back my kind of dig at the price. Silly me. But again, it looks it looks too similar to the original for my my taste. You know, it it, it needs to be switched up a little bit more. But, you know, that that's that's really it. But, yeah. Um, I am very excited for Sneak Peeks to finally start coming out. I really hope Spirit doesn't just drop this and run away like they sometimes do. I will be a little disappointed if that's all they're going to do is just drop this prop and be like, Bye! Enjoy! Please, just be consistent this year. We know you guys have stock to drop more new stuff. Everyone knows. You know, like, come on guys. Throw us a bone. I don't wanna see poor George. But yeah, well, that's all for this guy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>